Hello everybody, Dr. Mental here. Easter Sunday morning. Trying to find a beach that's open to take Lobo out for a run. So heck, this is one I can easily step over. But we're gonna talk about 5G today. That seems to be the big talk of everywhere. So why do we need 5G? What is this whole reason and this big push for 5G? Why do we need it? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. We don't need it. They need it. They want it. These advertisers, these corporations, these a-holes, they want the 5G because they're bogging down our bandwidth with all of their data collecting, all of their advertising. You know, we're paying out of our pockets to be brainwashed. That's what this is all about brainwashing through multiple advertising and they've taken up our bandwidth with so many of these advertising uh, spots on the side you know everything's moving uh, you hover over something and it starts moving all these ads got dancing people activity and that's all taken up bandwidth your bandwidth for the advertisers this is why they need more to pollute the whole internet and to brainwash you more efficiently because an example that I put in the video a while back that you know I had uh, out here in the jungle I don't have the best internet service so I changed to a company that had uh, five download and one upload and it seemed like it worked worse than what I had before with ESA the government owned internet services with three down and one up and that service always seemed to have worked better and the big reason is because ESA don't collect all your data and try to sell it and don't have all this advertising crap going on and who I was with with Claro there are major big data collectors major major data collectors so this is why we need more bandwidth, why it needs to be more forceful, is because of all the crap they're sending through the bandwidth that we're paying for out of our pockets to support all of their brainwashing, bullshit, propaganda, advertising, movements. All this stuff takes up your bandwidth and it's at your expense. That's right. You're paying to be brainwashed out of your own pocket by consuming your bandwidth that you paid dearly for and like I said I'm out here in the middle of nowhere so it's a big issue for me okay the best way to protest all of this so-called technology that is supposed to be so good for us and for our benefit haha is called the disconnection revolution disconnection revolution you need to start disconnecting your Wi-Fi devices and hell we've learned we've lived without it for decades and decades you know they kept saying oh get this get that technology is supposed to make your life so much easier but it's not true it's a bunch of BS if life was so much easier we wouldn't have this economic problem we wouldn't have these wars going on communication is supposed to be better people are supposed to be solving their problems but all this communication has done is give mankind a greater opportunity to lie deceive fool break contracts so on and so forth and it just let all the pedophiles another avenue to get to our kids and our children and then the other aspect of all this is called uh, the fiscal revolution is just don't participate in society don't participate in what the corporations want you to do we got to stop the money flow going to the corporate the fascist corporatism what a nice way to put lipstick on a bad word corporatism equals fascism but this is what people need to do is not participate in the stuff they have set up for you that's how you got to protest you got to get rid of your congressmen and senators and form picket lines around their house on their routes to their offices you got to occupy the crosswalks all around all four crosswalking areas go to a four-way stop sign and get 
couple hundred people and just go a big circle, a big square, and keep people walking around in a big square around four crosswalks. That's how you do it. That's how you start doing getting rid of these congressmen and senators. You need to get rid of a clean house. Obviously, Trump's not draining the swamp as he promised, but he's just putting more sopples in the swamp. And this is what we got to do. Okay, that's it for this uh, chapter of Symposium Sunday. Real quick one here. Pura Vida from Costa Rica. Let's watch the world collapse as a third party. Come here, boy. Come on.